Well, peeps, for the third week in a row, Super Mario Bros. has earned the number one spot in the box office, and we're going to get into how it did and how much closer it is to that one billion mark after the intro. Well, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. So yeah, this article is coming it's coming to you through Forbes and Super Mario Bros movie has earned the number 1 spot at the domestic and international market again. So now its global estimate is 871 million. So it's less than 200 a million away from a billion. So that's nuts. So this movie is like killing it and in so far it is the top grossing film of the year. So this weekend it made 58 million domestically and 70 million internationally for three days. It is now the third best weekend domestically for any animated film beating out. So this movie has the best third weekend domestically for any animated film beating out Incredibles 2 and with a domestic gross of 433 million the movie is now the highest grossing universal animated picture in North America beating out Minions, The Rise of Gru. And this was, it actually reached the top spot even with the debut of two movies, Evil Dead Rise and Guy Ritchie's The Covenant. So it's even beating out newer films, but Super Mario Bros. had a 146 domestic opening and has surpassed Ant-Man to become the highest grossing film so far in 2023. It is also the best performing adaptation ever topping Warcraft topping Warcraft and Detective Pikachu. The Super Mario Bros. movie has an A grade and cinema score and a 96% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Well that was it. I just wanted to do another quick recap on how this movie is doing. This is officially the biggest video game adapted film of all time. There is no way it's not gonna get to a billion. It could it'll probably get that in the next week or two, maybe by the end of, not April, but maybe next month. I mean, I don't know, maybe another two weeks, it should be at a billion, which is so cool. I love, I love this, and the audience loves it. And it came out at the most perfect time. They released it at a perfect time. You know, Guardians of the Galaxy is coming up soon, but who knows? I mean, the fact that it being their third and potentially last movie might give it a bit more hype, but... After seeing the disaster that was Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, I actually watched it, and I think it may be the worst MCU film I've ever seen, for me personally, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I'm really excited. More and more adaptations are going to come out and are going to be announced, and this is just proof that the genre is here to stay, and it's going to continue to grow and explode in the next few years. People are going to be like, what's MCU? I just want to watch the latest, you know, Super Mario Bros. or Zelda movie or Fallout show or whatever. I'm so excited. But do you guys, what do you guys think about this? Super Mario almost hitting 1 billion. And it could potentially even be the biggest film of the year at the, by the end of the year. But we're not even halfway through yet, so who knows. But, I mean, there's always one film every year that makes a billion dollars, it seems, at least. And this year, it could be the Super Mario Bros. movie. But we'll see. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching and keep gaming.